you mentioned catching the ball. I saw you break on that pass in front of the Maryland bench. Can you take us through that play? Yeah, uh, I think we were in uh, cover two, and uh, I was reading the quarterback, seeing them kind of like float the ball up, and I was like, you know, as a DB, once you see the ball, your eyes get big, and, you know, you, you want to get the ball, and had it in my hands, and then I, I guess I just peeked away from it. Got to have those, though, but, you know, just like I said, we just got to make those opportunities happen, you know what I'm saying? Once you see the ball, we got to get it. Felt great. Uh, just not been being able to be out there. You know that Ohio State week kind of hurt me, but uh, I'm feeling good, feeling better than ever, and just trying to go out here and just be one to know this week. Dave, Corey, and welcome in. Uh, coach has been talking about limiting those explosive plays. It's one thing to say let's get rid of them. What are the little things that are falling through the cracks that you guys can patch up to eliminate the explosive plays that you mentioned that you guys gave up eight last Saturday? Really, uh, coaches talk about just doing our job. You know, everybody just do their specific job, and everything will just handle itself. You know, just focus on the details, and you know, add limit them. All right. Hi. So when you look back, kind of on your last few years here, and comparing it to this season, how does it feel now to be standing at five and three to have all these opportunities ahead and potentially qualify for a bowl game? Me personally, uh, this is like my first full year. But, uh, you know, it feels good, you know, like what the guys was telling me that that's been here for a while. They, you know, they say we have a new team and, you know, a new mindset and we just come together and to try and do everything we got to do just to win each and every week. You know, we're going to take it week by week, day by day and, you know, just get better. Hey man, so you talk about doing the job. The job gets harder this weekend when you play Penn State. Specifically, what stuck out to you in film um, from what you've seen so far, specifically with John Dotson as well? Uh, they're a good team, you know. Uh, they were ranked top five for a reason. But uh, like I said, we just got to execute on the little things, you know, uh, stay in the film room and just do what our coaches say. You know, uh, that everything will handle itself. Matt. Coach Corey, um, Coach Lockley, I know he, one of the things he's talked about this season, um, it's just over the last couple of games, is kind of the lack of turnovers generated. And I know you mentioned, you know, just focusing on the little things. Um, so when you guys look at the tape against Indiana, I guess, where do you kind of see those opportunities to improve and like maybe capitalize on those chances? Um, and how do you guys do that in practice? Uh, me personally, uh, I just kind of catch the ball, you know, but uh, we just got to take our uh, turnover circuits more serious, you know, and just focus on getting the ball out. And Coach Stu always says during practice, uh, we got to get five attempts at the ball. Uh, and so, you know, doing that, and once you practice it, you know, it happens in the game. So, you know, we just got to just gotta get the ball, man. Emily. Hey, Jacorian. Um for, for some of your teammates who had been here longer than you, and they had gone through some pretty rough game against Penn State, do you think last year's win and just how you guys were able to play help, helped you guys from a mentality standpoint, knowing you can compete with those type teams? Yeah, because, uh, you know, once we came in, it just kind of, because they put shoulder pads on just like we put shoulder pads on, you know. So we just got to go out there and just handle our business. And, of course, that win last year kind of giving us a little extra juice, you know, this week. And, you know, we just ready to go out there and just be one to know this week and get that sixth win for the fans, mm -hmm. for us. Wayne. Right. Um, hey, just to follow up, um, the bursts and performances the defense had, especially towards the second and third quarters against Indiana, um, for you guys heading into this game, how much or how much more has the confidence risen in that room with you? 
Uh, I feel like the confidence is the same. You know, we've always been a confident, confident group. And uh, I feel like as a whole, we're just so together and we know we can do once we're, you know, clicking on all cylinders. But we just could continue to keep our confidence, get our swag back and, you know, just do the things we can do. Everyone good? Thanks for supporting. Thank you.